Hi there and welcome to the one million gallon quail pond. My name is Hartwig and this is the story of my pond. The date of today's episode is 30th of April 2011. After collecting dead and rotten fish for weeks, I understood that there had been a big mistake not to have proper aeration on the pond through the winter. Together with the attacks from the two shags, I believe the missing aeration was a fatal mistake. I decided to use an air extension cord and set up a small aeration system ASAP. Better late than never. In this episode I will show you how I set up my aeration system. My only advice at this time is to read up on this subject. If you do use an aeration system during a cold winter, it could be a fatal mistake and result in a massive fish kill. But if you don't use it and the pond needs aeration, you can get the same result. I have used my system for 5 years now with koi in the pond for the last 3 winters. And I believe my koi are just fine. Next season I will try to get a proper system even for the summer season. I'm totally convinced it will help my pond to be more healthy. I will make a video about that later. If you like this video go ahead and give it a like. If you have any tips, comments or questions make sure to leave them behind underneath. I will promise to answer them all. And not least if you haven't already feel free to subscribe it's totally free. That way you won't miss an episode. And do remember, the goal of this channel is to give you such detailed updates on what it's like to manage a pond like this, that it will be like owning it yourself, except without having to worry about hiring contractors dealing with diseases, predators or cold winters. This episode is the last one in a series of reviews on what have happened in 2010 and 2011. From now on, I want to focus on what I've done with the pond and the surrounding landscape for the last few years, and at least what remains to be done. As the series goes on, I will be do documenting and taking you with me on all the trials of keeping a pond of this size.
After finally realizing that every koi in my pond was dead, and even my premium koi in my koi dealer's pond was dead because of a freak accident in their pond, I totally gave up. I didn't go back to my pond for 3 years. Next Friday I will start a new series. In this short series I will try to describe what the pond and the surrounding landscape looked like before the upgrade really kicked off in July 2016. That's it for now, thanks for watching and remember, there's a new episode every Friday, so click on the round subscribe button and you'll be sure to never miss one. If you want to watch more videos, please push one of the buttons below.